Right, so we want to apply uh, Flow AI on our data set in order to remove all these weirdness that uh, occur during the acquisition. Uh, we're using FCS Express today. We could use Omic, we can use uh, Flowjo. They all have the same group of algorithms uh, that allow you to play with your uh, data files. I find that FCS Express is a, a neat way to, to deal with it. Uh, Omic, I'm just not as familiar with it just yet. And Flojo has this weird system of plugins that I don't really enjoy uh, playing with. So uh, in FCS Express, what we're going to do is go to Tools and Transformations. And essentially, we're going to go to the plus sign over here to apply a new transformation. There's a bunch of things we could do. But right now, we want to apply a pipeline. Uh, the pipeline would basically allow us to uh, line up a series of algorithms uh, in order to get to something that's relevant biologically. Um, currently, we're, I just want to run Flow AI, so that's what we'll do, we'll call this uh, Flow AI. It's going to be applied to all of our sample. We could apply a specific gate. I don't have any gate right now. And a series of detectors or parameters that we have in our, in our data file. Right now, I'll just apply to everything. Uh, whenever you do your own analysis, you want to double check if uh, you apply uh, your algorithms in a way that makes sense um, to, to uh, your optimal goal. Uh, <clears throat> over here, we have a uh, button, a plus icon that will allow you to use uh, to add steps to your analysis. You can do, again, a bunch of different things. We're going to use the predefined algorithms that we have over here, flow AI, flow cut, flow sum. You can use uh, any of them. Um, some of them do similar things in different ways. So that's why you need to be very aware of how you use these different algorithms. This is a bit outside of my own uh, expertise. And so that's why when I, I can easily plug in these uh, algorithms in my analysis, but uh, it's really important that you figure out what they do and, and what change with your data once they've been applied. Um, at this point, this is all we need to do for this particular transformation. We're just applying uh, Flow AI. So I'm going to uh, close my transformation window. And if I want to apply it now to my uh, data file, I'm going to the overlay uh, in FCS Express and go to transformation and just apply that new Flow AI uh, pipeline that I just created. And after a short while, uh, software calculates uh, the outcome. And now we've removed all these weird data that we um, that differed uh, during the acquisition. And we have something that's a bit more reliable. Again, uh, it's important that you understand what these different algorithms uh, do. There's a bunch of uh, publications that will explain uh, how they work. Uh, so develop your own expertise with uh, the tools that you want to use. Um, but overall, that's all from me today. And we'll talk later. Cheers.